Well, 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 good afternoon, West Ham fans. Let's talk about the David Moyes press conference. Yes, everybody, Russell the West End Network. Hope you're all safe and well. It's Hammers Headlines in association with the KUMB.com boys. As we tend to do the day before the match day, we uh, use that slot um, to go through the Dave Moyes press conference, a synopsis, if it were, um, main, ta- main talking points in terms of what was asked in the broadcast section. Obviously, as we know, there's two sections of the Dave Moyes press conference. We have the broadcast section, which is literally just finished, and then we have the embargo section, which comes out about half ten tonight. Um, for our channel members, we'll have Jordan from The Sun giving you his take on the press conference, and that's exclusively for the channel members. If you're not a channel member, please, 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 very, very simply, make sure you are subscribing and make sure you keep an eye on this, our West Ham Network get Christmas giveaway. Every day up until um, Christmas Day, we're giving you the opportunity to win some lovely signed West Ham stuff from various places, Machiavelli, Liam Brady, Brookin. Dean Ashton, Sebastian Schemmel, literally, and, and hundreds more, it seems. Um, every day we put up a video in the morning, um, like an advent calendar. Today is the 6th. So on day 6th, it was our interview from um, our chat with Neil Razor Ruddock. And all you have to do is literally sub- just subscribe to the channel and just comment. It's all totally free and no money at all is needed. No Patreon, no membership. It's all free. Obviously, if you do want to support the channel that way, click the join button and become a channel member and you get entered into these things every month. Also, fancy a beer, beer52.com. What's going on with my face? I've got, I've got some white stuff there. Hmm. Anyway, must be. Anyway, regardless of that, let's talk about Dave Moore's press conference. It's just finished. Um, and let's go with team news. That's what we want to start with. Let's go with team news. Um, Noe Antonio. Uh, as we alluded to, it assumed um, he's not back fit yet. Kurt Zuma is back in training, happy for him to have him back. He's been fine. It's been a terrible situation, but the club are supporting him really well. It's horrible as no one should be broken into. Hopefully, the reward with the club putting up a £25,000 reward for information, which led to, which leads to the arrest. Um, uh, the people will be arrested for it. Obviously, we know that Kurt was not present for the game against... Uh, Crystal Palace, of course he was then, um, on Sunday. And so um, the reason being, obviously, because he, his house got broken into on a Saturday. Um, so he'll be back, by the sounds of it, in time for, uh, he's, he's, you know, he's got, well, probably don't get it mentally, but physically he's okay. It was no injuries, no illnesses. It was just uh, the personal matter. So hopefully um, you may all see him in the match day squad tomorrow. Hopefully or not. It depends how you feel about him and whether you'd rather play him or Mavra Panels. Um, we shall see. I'll be doing my predicted 11s just before kickoff um, tomorrow tomorrow for the watch along for the Spurs game. So you can keep an eye on that. Um, he was asked about Boeing. Um, and it's a strange question. He was asked about whether he whether Jared Bowen has stepped up to fill the void of Declan Rice leaving in the summer, which is a bit of a bizarre question. Um, and, and Moyes is obviously very complimentary on him, um, saying that uh, it's good when you get someone to step up. And Jared has since, uh, has since we lost Deck, as have others. Spurs would say the same, that Son and Kuliseski and others have stepped up since Harry Kane's left. So, you know, quite a, Strange question to ask, really. Um, asked about being compared, you know, the comparison between last season and this season in terms of where we are in the league. As last season was a bad season to judge us on, as he weren't good enough, even though he improved quite a lot after the World Cup. I think you were better if reflection is two years ago and the season before that. We're only a couple of points behind where we were a couple of years ago, but there are loads of things we could do better, and we want to do that in the second half of the season. And I get that. I understand what he's trying to say about that. He's trying to say, you know, obviously, lastly, don't really judge us because obviously it would look like an improved season compared to last season. But actually, judge us on when we finish sixth and seventh. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, asked about our opponents from North London, um, Spurs, and the challenge is playing against them. He was very complimentary of. Tottenham saying going to Spurs is a tough away game. We need to be competitive and hard to beat. There we go. He's going to shit house his way. There we go. 
No, nothing different. Hard to beat. And when we get those moments, we have some talented players and we need to show where we're able to play. And obviously, we'll be up against Ange Postologu. Um, we've had um we had Flav on this afternoon um from um Jaffen and you know the fighting cock and he does loads of the um the overlap and stuff like that, talking about the Postologu revolution. I mean, it's really interesting to get his to get his take on it from a Spurs fan, you know, looking out rather than us looking into you know, what's been a transformation, it seems, in terms of Spurs. Um, asked about Postologu himself. He said um, he's done remarkable. Tottenham are a really good side and he's made a big difference to see to how they play, the crowd and the atmosphere. But I'm a bit surprised everyone else was surprised after what he did at Celtic, where the pressure is enormous and he coped and dealt with it. Tottenham are as good as a side as anyone in the Premier League at the moment. I think that's fair enough. They are. They have been on a four-game loop or four-game not winning streaks, so obviously into West Ham, as you can imagine. But um, and then there has been, you know, I was listening to uh, the uh, more than just a podcast, guys. Yeah, the other day I think uh, Nick was on there for Clarence Booth and saying how you know the way Spurs play might actually help us. And think about it: the, the likes of TSC, Crystal Palace, Burnley. All of them played the same way we played, really, apart from the exception of Burley. But they tried to sort of like, you know, keep us from playing that low block and all that type of stuff. Um, whereas Spurs obviously play very quite an expansive style of football. Um, they also have a lot of players out. So a lot of players maybe not in the right positions they would be. Um, we know Romero will be back from his three-match suspension. And that'll probably mean um, Emerson Royale will, will drop out. And, and But you're still a Ben Davis, you're a left-back playing centre back um, and a lot of other players still not there up to nine players could be out for the game uh, the likes of James Madison Van der Vey, some really really good players but they've still got the likes of um, Kuliszewski they still got they still got Gil they still got Ho- Hoiberg they still got Son who always bloody scores against us it seems but we have Mohamed Kudus and Jared Bowen don't we he was asked about Mohamed Kudus uh, specifically and uh, his, his progress so far this year and he says I have to say I've been hugely impressed by how he has done and he's been started better than how I anticipated. He came off the bench and was scoring and making goals. And now he's starting and he's continuing to do that. So hopefully he will continue to do that. Thanks, David. Um, obviously one of the big issues coming up soon will be the AFCONs. The likes of Mohamed Kadoos will be, we know will be going for a prolonged period of time in January, um, as well as Nayef Aged, Ben Rama, Corne, potentially if they all get called up to their respective national sides. Um, and Moyes actually asked the question specifically about the AFCONs, which I think is probably the first time he's spoken about it in a press conference. Obviously, we've got just over a month until a start. They start in mid-January. And asked about the AFCONs, he said, where is it? There is. Um, I've had many African players, Joseph Yobo, uh, Yakuba at Everton when I was a younger manager. And I know the support for the Premier League is huge in Africa. Saeed Ben Ram is massive back in Algeria and there from Morocco. And it's important we take them back to their part of the world. And for the Africa Cup of Nations, is part of the football schedule. And we'll have some African players who will probably be away. <laughs> Not really what I was saying before, David. I was saying before, oh, okay, we can cope. And da, da, da. But anyway. We, we well done, well done, David. You've had some African based players, congratulations! And that was it, that was it. Um, as I said, go back and check out um, the chat with um, Flav this afternoon, that was a really, really good chat. Um, and then tomorrow we'll start all the stuff for the Spurs game, uh, predicted 11s, the, the pre match, all that type of stuff. Um, and don't forget to check out neesamonbrand.com. Always helps if you need to leave a cheeky little link, just saying, just saying. Um, but if you are, if you do want to, because it's on Amazon, um, go back and check out the West End Network community tab. Um, there's a code there. Our friends at Amazon are giving, giving you guys free um, Prime membership for a month. Um, so use that code and you can get free Prime membership. There we go. And you can watch the game. You can it straight afterwards if you want. Um, or you can get, use it for the old, uh, the old deliveries, for the old Christmas presents. Why not? And that's it. So take care. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay humble. Keep the faith, my friends. And come on, you bloody, bloody. Irons. Irons!